It's a special edition of the Brett Allen Show. Today we are talking more All-American Homecoming with star Royal Ivy King, who has a fantastic role on this show and really a very pivotal character. We've had several of your cast members on, so I'm definitely excited to chat with you. Uh, Royal, thank you so much for hanging out today. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, let's talk about this first of all, because this is a really important conversation, a great show. And you have really created a very interesting and exciting character throughout this story. How did you come about creating this character and their legacy? Because it's just, it, it fits really well with the show and you just do an amazing job. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really think it all comes back to, you know, our showrunner who created the character, um, you know, conversations with her and then the character description, the fact that it was built in that this character was supposed to be fly and fierce was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> it's so much fun to play. And then from there, it was a lot of conversations um, and doing a lot of research. Um, Glad was someone who really helped me um, understand this character and really do a lot of research, beautiful conversations. And most importantly, understand, you know, the intersectionality between me and the character. So I can know, you know, what we have in common, what we have that is different. And then from there, take a very honest approach to everything that we did. Yes. I mean, you really play this character in a very authentic way. And uh, I, I mean, it's honestly like, it's just, I love this show. It's a lot of fun. And uh, this universe that has continued on uh, from All American, generally speaking, is great. As a creative, you get the opportunity and as a storyteller to play a lot of different characters. And it sounds like from our conversation so far that you like to really do your research. Do you ever come to a point where you might find yourself challenged to create a character? Or is there a process that you like to use as a storyteller to really get into the skin of the person that you might be playing? Yeah, sometimes, um, sometimes, you know, the biggest challenge can be understanding someone or a character's perspective on something, um, especially when it's so different from yours and making sure that as you play that moment um, on camera or, what, or even on stage, that it's completely truthful. Um, you know, I like to use empathy as one of the greatest tools to connect with the character, to understand, and to put myself in their shoes to really feel what they're feeling. Um, I think that's one of the beautiful things about, you know, what we do is we truly get to be a vessel for other people to see themselves and to be reflected. And so I think from there, you really start to ground yourself in the research and the understanding and that way, in any different situation you're in or throughout the season with the character, you get to kind of live truthfully and in the moment, you know, because a lot of times when you get the script, you have no clue what's about <laughs> to go down. There was never like a, so here's what's happening from start to finish. Here's everything you need to know. Now you have a few months before we start the project. It's like, here's a script. What's happening? Oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? So I think the most important aspect is doing the research. So you know everything that you're able to do and all the different lanes and opportunities you have to kind of let this character be channeled through their different stories. Yeah, and I think storytelling, I like to say, is really what it all comes down to. Um, I mean, you're an actor, obviously. We know that. you. This is your job. This is your career. But really, you're telling stories, especially when you're part of an anthology series like this or other projects that you've been a part of. When did you know that you wanted to be a storyteller? I mean, obviously, there's other things that you're very into fashion. Being a fashion icon, is, is, as it's written here, uh, fashion forward, kind of on the cutting edge of things. But really, like I think it all encompasses together. Like, When did you know hey, this is something that I want to do and want to be a part of. Oh, by the fall semester of my freshman year of high school. That's when I knew. Um, the summer before that, I was finally convinced to go out for a Shakespeare camp. Went out for it, absolutely adored it. And so then when it gave me the confidence to go for the fall play that year and I got in, 
I was so moved by the story we were telling. It's a, it's a very popular movie called Stand and Deliver, but there's yes. also a play version of that. And so I think the, the whole theme of that story is so positive and so uplifting and so, so telling about a man who makes incredible sacrifices for his students that all in all, every day you came to rehearsal or you came to the performance and you were just enveloped by the positivity of that message and how powerful it was. And I think in that moment, that's when I realized that storytelling really does come off the page and into your life and in, into your heart and into your emotions. And it can leave people leaving the theater or leaving you know, their house that day fully motivated to do something bigger than themselves. So I think that was the moment when I really was like, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to talk to my parents about it, but I definitely want to do this as my career, especially, you know, if I, if I get to touch people the way it's touched me. Yeah, I think that was Edward James Olmos who starred in the uh, film version of that story. Uh, it's a great film, uh, great play as well. This is amazing. Again, you just, you know, you've had your hands in so many different things. Um do you is there one part of this journey that you might enjoy more than the other? Not that you don't enjoy it, but like, is there something that kind of feeds you more or is it just all encompassing for you as a creative? I think the the baseline and something that I have to do in no matter which lane I'm driving in at that point is it has to be telling the story. You know, yeah. for me, I think the singers that I admire the most are the ones that tell stories. Like listening to Stevie Wonder, listening to Whitney Houston, everything that they sang always told a story. Watching Alvin Ailey um, in some of their, their dance theater things, it always tells a story. Musical theater, film and television, anything, fashion, it tells a story. And so I think for me, as long as I'm telling a story in whatever I'm doing, then I'm fully invested in it. Um, it's when it's only about the surface level that I'm like, mm, sure, not really feeling it. But when we get <laughs> okay. deeper, you know, when we get to dive deeper, and it's like, no, there's a reason we're doing this. It's even like in our show, um, our costume designer Tiffany, she always would tell me, there's a reason you're wearing this. I didn't just pull it off of a rack. I didn't just throw it on you because it's cute. No, let's talk about what's happening in the scene. Let's talk about what Nathaniel's doing, what she's going through, and why she would be wearing this because it's a part of the story and a part of the scene, just like the words coming out of your mouth. So for me, to answer the question, as long as it's telling a story, I'm fully invested in it. Yeah, I love that. And that's the one thing that I learned early on, just having done some background work and some stand-in work, Really like those costumes that are picked for you. You're like, I don't like this. It fits weird. But those people are really making conscious decisions and choices about what you're putting on. Because really, for some actors, and it might be the same for you, it really kind of maybe even helps you envelop that character more. Uh, because you're wearing something that kind of gets you in the mood, so to speak. Yeah. At, you know, in the, in the mindset uh, to to play that role particularly, especially on a show like All American or whether it's any of the plays or any of the other things that you've been a part of. One last question, Royal, as we kind of wrap up here, I'm very curious, again, just doing so many different things, has there ever been a piece of advice that you've been given that really has sustained you and sort of kept you going uh, on the trajectory of your career as an artist and a storyteller? Absolutely. Um, I don't even have to think hard about that one. I remember back in high school, my choir teacher, you know, because choir is such um, a collective thing. It yeah. Every voice, everyone doing their part and carrying their weight to create a really beautiful sound. And so we finished a song and he stopped and he just made a point to go. This is us coming together and creating something bigger than ourselves. Wow. And so I think for me, the concept and the idea of that, even even in All American Homecoming, as a cast, we come together and we yeah. create something that is so much bigger than any of us can do individually. And I think that is what always gets me through is collaborating with artists and being a part of projects that, you know, as a collective, this is bigger than all of us. And that's a beautiful thing to feel. It's a beautiful thing to watch and a beautiful thing to experience. 
Very well said. And there's just a couple episodes left. You guys are getting ready to wrap uh, mm -hmm. for this season. And uh, I believe you guys were renewed for another one. So if I understand, is that correct? Or did I misspeak we, on that? We haven't heard anything yet. Okay. <laughs> well, then just ignore that. <laughs> Everybody watching and listening. I, I think I don't see why you wouldn't because it's great. This is a lot of fun. Uh, I love watching you in this story and just all the other amazing characters and actors that are involved. Uh, Royal Ivy King, thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.